Yo, in a world full of, uh, we hear all these snitch stories and kind of highlighting snitches at this point, and they getting more publicity than the real. Y'all, situ when, when your situation happened, right? And um, I'm not too familiar. Again, I, this is just random as hell. No preparation or nothing. But I think Bobby got a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. And he said, I think he was presented an opportunity to, uh, to get less time, but he decided to like split it with you. If you can explain, mm. explain exactly what happened. Uh, again. I basically, they was offering us all a different set of time. They was offering him five years, offering me, what was it, 12 years, offering Monte 12, offering my other co-defendant, Quino, 18. And they was like, yo, if y'all take these cop outs right now, if y'all um if y'all agree to cop out right now, y'all can sign the paperwork, the cop out, and start your time. And Quino was like, yo, I'm not taking 18. <laughs> and I respected that. Like, I'm not, I can't see myself signing no paperwork saying, yo, I'm taking 18 years of my life. Mm. No. So when he said no, I'm like, oh, it's over. We're gonna have to go to trial. But the DA and them was so crooked. They was like, I right, well, is Monte, is McCoy, Marshall, and Bar Bardrick, I mean, I'm Polard, which is me, Monte, and Bobby, are they willing to take this time still without Quino taking his time? And um, we was like, the lawyer was like, yo, let me get back to you. So we talking, and, and they see, and they mind, they probably like, yo, they're not going to take this. So they came back with another agreement. Like, yo, listen, forget the five years for Bobby. We're willing to give, and forget the 12 years for me, and forget the 12 for Monte. We're willing to give me and Monte seven years now instead of the 12. Instead of Bobby getting five, we're willing to give him seven mm. for them. So it's basically like, I right, we'll give them seven years if, if Bobby takes you seven. take seven years instead of five now. You That's feel me? crazy. So when it came back, so it wasn't like I like, oh, you take this for that, but basically it was it was like that. Cause so, when it came back and said, yo, no more five years on the table for him, it was seven now and seven for all of us. It was basically saying, uh, right, you gonna have to take seven years for them to get seven. Let me ask you this. He but he could have took five though if he wanted. Oh uh, yeah. Yo, when you hear that, right? Oh uh, yeah, he and, and you know what's we know the stories of snitching. I mean, the biggest drug dealers in the world we heard snitch, right? Mm -hmm. When you hear your man's like, Bro, nah, I, I take my seven so my my can get seven. At that moment, like, what's going through your mind? Like, how you feeling then? Um, I remember it down from how it all started. When they said that, the lawyers went and talked in like a, a huddle, so we don't know what's going on yet. So when they came back and the lawyer like, yo, this was going on. Um, we just looked at bro, like, all right, what you gonna do? Like mm. for me, then he like, yo, he like, he just sitting there with the, like the. Mad face, constipating, like like contemplating what he gonna do, and then he's just like, "I'm gonna take it." For me. Mm. And when he say that, like, is it is that gotta feel like from twelve? Oh, when he said that, um, oh, hold up, damn, I'm a little smack right now. I can't remember. That's why I, I told felt. you too. I, uh, nigga, I, I said felt that. when he said that. Um, of course, I felt great. I felt good. I'm, f I'm, I mean, I don't feel. I don't remember how Zaki I felt. Um, take your time. It's cool. Take your time. Um, I know, what? That's yeah, what I'm it saying. Felt good. Like, I wanna, I wanna remember what happened though. I know he took the time. Hold on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Monte had eighteen. No, Quino had eighteen. I had twelve. Monte had twelve. No, I'm lying. Monte had twelve. I had ten. No, I don't know what it was. I just know it was some weird. Big it wasn't numbers. seven. All of them, all <laughs> was, them was double digits. And my took this shit. Oh, I remember. Um, he said, I'm going to take it. Uh -uh. He had to go back to the DA, tell him, like, he's going to take it. And they had to present it to the judge. So they presented it to the judge. And once they said everything and they stopped, like, yeah, he's going to take the time. All the family background, it's just, it wasn't chaos. But it was like, it was just pure, like, loud noise. Like, yeah, ratings, yo, boom, boom, yeah, yeah. Like, it was just like, a, like, a, like, bro did this, he stepped up, and... Yeah, you did right. And Yo, I, maybe I'm not understanding this because every bro, it's like it's like all the wrong is 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 get that jersey hung up for like a better words, right? In the Hall of Fame, but like if this ain't one of the realest 
stories mm. ever. And like me personally, I just like, bro, that's that shit. shit was crazy though. That's crazy though. It was crazy because the way how they was playing it. Yo, Bobby should be. They was <laughs> they was playing the way they was playing it. Like, like I put it like this. We'll go to court, and then they'll pull certain out and try to get them to town. You know what I mean? And it was just crazy, bro. And then every time we go to court, it was just like a link up. Like. We all died that we all got caught in the same day. So when we all go to court, it's just like we all in the back pens, we smoking, we, we be chopping it up. You feel me? We like everybody hold their head, be strong. You feel me? What they talking about, we got this type of shit for me. It was certain days we would get to the court and it's just a party, bro. We would get there and and bro be like, you ain't lit. Your spot ain't lit. What you got on you? What, what, what you pulled up with? Like what? Nigga, I pulled up with an ounce of weed. What you talking about? Ounce of weed, tobacco. Guy, I'm lit. What you talking about? What you pulled up with? Like I pulled up with this, that. Like what you pulled up like that? Ah. Uh. So we in here like it's like a f party in the back of the courthouse. You feel me? We smell like a pound before we go in for. I'm in the car with marijuana. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge. Um, bro, I swear to God, you feel me? But so that go by, right? You get out first day out. First day out, man. First day out, I wish I would never even show my face. Man, what? Cause I should have just been exclusive. I should have just waited, right? Why? Cause like, I don't know, man. Stop asking me why. I'm gonna ask her why. Because the interview, I'm what we yo, sound like Jada Kiss wanna... right now, bro. <laughs> why, <laughs> you know, bro? You know how many? You know how many? Uh, want to hit it? I'm curious why. Oh, uh, I bet why? Cause like. I should have just waited. I should have, like, you feel me, got myself together properly, like, you feel me? Because, like, even when I was coming home, like, I, I started working out the last shows, coming home. I stopped smoking. I stopped doing certain shit. You feel me? I been on big on prayers before I go see, wake up. But I started taking it more serious when I was coming home. I feel like when I came home, I should have just waited and got myself right first before I even... I felt like I rushed society. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have learned more what's going on. I should have sat back, analyzed, like how I do when I came in the spot. When I came in jail, I wasn't just <laughs> right away doing shit. When I came in here, I'm like, all right, who got the spot? All right, let me see if I'm going to live in here. You know, I'm cripping. Like, for me, I was more patient. Mm. When I came home, I was just excited. You feel me? But you should have been excited, though. I know, but you know, like, it's still, like, how you handle things. For me, you don't feel that way? You don't feel like I should have handled it, like, on some like, wait, get myself right first and then come correct. You don't feel like that? I don't know, but I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm not you though. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So like, that, like that's two different things. Like I'm, I'm grinding. I'm trying to get the top for like you coming home. But even if I'd have came home and then show my face for like a week, you feel me? Got what I needed. Got you feel me? Like make up certain video, do something like, and like, and then just you feel me. Because, put it like this, say I would have came home, and only time you can see me is when I drop a video. Mm. That means you respecting me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nah, facts. How is, how is you and Bobby now? Y'all still, like, real close? Me and Bobby going to always be brothers, you feel me? No matter what. I mean, it's always going to be my brother. I'm always going to love him. I don't care if whatever we go through in life, you feel me? That's always going to be my brother. We can't disrespect him. If he's not here, you can't talk bad about him in front of me. Mm. For me, nothing. 